There you go, get him. There he goes, running. Running. Get him. Get him, get him, get him. Get him, boy. Get him. Uh, he's caught in that tree. Oh, he got him. Get him, boy. Get him. You know what time it is. Welcome back to another episode of Get Em Greg Fishing. I'm Greg Williams, and I'm here with my good buddy, Kevin Farrell. And we're on Lake Watery, South Carolina today. Uh, it's a late November day. It's the Sunday after Thanksgiving. It's about 55 degrees out here. The water temp also is about 55 degrees. And uh, we're going after some striper today. So uh, hopefully we'll catch them up and we will get them. Stay tuned. By launching our boat from the Lake Watery State Park. We uh, made our way down the river until we got to about this area, which is right in the mouth of June Creek. Right here, we started locating a lot of bait, a lot of fish. So we started dropping our uh, lines down to right around the ledges. Uh, they, were, they were in the river bed, but right at the tip of the ledges. Um, right here is a kind of a purple looking house. So we're fishing to the left-hand side of that purple house. Right here is the coordinates if, you, if you're interested in looking at that. But the first couple of clips you see, that's where we're at, right in this area, right here. Got him? Yeah! Let's get him, boy! There you go. There you go. Yeah! There you go, kid. Yep. All right. That's what we're looking for right there, kid. Yeah! Look at that. Hey, give me five, Mo. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yes, sir. Oh, he swallowed that hook. Yeah, he did. Ooh, about to come out of his mouth. Hey, let me drop the rod, put him on the ground. That hook battery right didn't hook him out. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there, Kevin. Yes, sir. Woo, yeah. There we go. That's what I am talking about right there. Put another one in the bait. It's nice in there. Let's see if we can catch another one. Yes, sir. We're running a six rod setup today where we're using six Ripping Lips Super Cat rods paired with Piscifin Chaos XS50 reels. Our reels are spooled with 30 pound slime line and we're using a Carolina rig. A Carolina rig consists of a one off short shank hook with a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader, which is approximately two foot long, and a two ounce sinker. We're trolling from anywhere from 0.5 miles an hour to 0.8 miles an hour, and then when we locate the fish, we are dropping straight down on them. Yeah, one looking at it, because there's a, look at that, where our, our uh, spring is, and that fish is right on it. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button below and hit the post notification to be alerted when new videos are available. Hell yeah, there we go, baby. Now oh, you done got me wrapped. Come on. Hell oh, yeah. Now oh, you got me wrapping up. Oh, damn, boy. Got a hair pulling, son. Yeah. Come on, baby. Ah, I think I just met. Oh, I got him. Oh yeah! Woo! Yes, yeah, yeah, that skunk. Definitely that skunk gone. is off the boat, son. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I called that one, didn't I? I said, "There's the damn thing's right there at the bait." It sure did. It hit it. Yes, sir. There it is. For the restriper, baby. For the restriper. Put him in the box. Yes, sir. Give me five there, brother. Yeah. Yes, sir. He pulled pretty good, but that's nice. That's probably the bit the, the the most fighting one we had so far. And me. I 
I'll give you. There you go. There you go, Jim. Is on there? Yeah, he's on there. Oh, yeah. He's on there. Then got wrapped in that line right there. There he is. Bring, bring him over to the side of the boat right here. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Good job, bro. Five, my brother. Oh, still got the thing in the mouth. There you go, boy. Thank you, Wiley Striper. All right. As fall moves along and the weather gets colder, striped bass will feed more during the warmer parts of the day. I recommend fishing in the afternoon, which is when you stand your best chance of landing some big fish. During December and January, the striped bass bite on Watery can be awesome. Using live bait, the entire lake can be productive. But my target area is generally along the old riverbed in the middle portion of the lake from Dutchman Creek down past Colonel's Creek. There you go, there you go. You got one. Get it, get it, get it, set them right there. Get them, get them, yeah. There you go, there you go, get it. Oh yeah. He's running sideways on you. Get the net. Oh yeah. It's been a while. We got, got one it. now. You got the right spot though. Oh yeah. Had to find him, had to find him again. Oh yeah, I saw him. Oh yeah, they're going running all over the place. Yep, yep, just got that one tangled. All right, Barbara. Come on, Barbara. There we go. Yeah, man, that's a nice one. That might be the big one of the day right there, bro. Uh -huh. Golly. How about that? It's a nice one there, dude. Yeah, that's nice one there, bro. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think he done bit the hook. Yeah, he done good. That's even that's even better. So nice in there, Buff. Good job. Hey, man. Give him five, brother. That's fine. There you go. Get this. I knew when I started talking about never, never. Okay. I was going to catch one, huh? That's right. All right, buddy. Calm down. Calm down. Hey, big old jugger here, dude. Oh, pretty good. Pig. Yeah. Oh yeah, been nice. And I think we need to stay in this pod, don't we? <laughs> All right, so what we're doing today, we've got some live shad, and we're putting it on a little. Uh, our rig we got is a little uh, one alt circle hook with a short shaft on it. Uh, we have about a two foot leader, which is a 15 uh, pound fluorocarbon. Then we have a little two ounce uh, weight with a, a little barrel swivel on it. That is a little Carolina rig. And what we're doing is we're just dropping it down into water and letting it sink to the bottom. Um, then we, uh, I, I've been doing five turns, seven turns, and 10 turns on the reel to uh, you know, just get it different depth columns. Four, five, six, seven. And then just putting it in the, putting it in the holder and uh, just seeing if we get some action off of it. Uh, what we normally are doing is we're uh, trolling at about 0 0.7, 0 0.8 miles an hour, and then when we get over the top of some fish, uh, what I'm doing is just shutting the trolling motor off and, and uh, just sitting there trying to drift over the top of uh, the fish that we're marking on the screens and uh, seeing if uh, we can catch something up. But uh, that's what we're doing today. So the bite slowed down somewhat and we decided to move and what we did was uh, had gotten a tip that there was some uh, striper being caught over towards Colonel Creek. So we moved out into this open water here and come around and we got almost to Colonel Creek. We got about right here which is just outside of Steelhouse Branch and we was marking a lot of fish in this area right here. Um, they wouldn't bite. We sat there for probably a good 30 minutes 
and decided to turn back around so we turned back around and we came right up to about this point right here where, where beaver creek came out and uh, we started fishing again uh, trolling uh, on this side of the ledge and, and basically come up this side and, and, and came back up through here and uh, in the remaining videos in this uh, YouTube video that's where we're trolling at from right here at Beaver Creek back over uh, to the original purple house that I was talking about earlier yeah there you go Boy, you getting them now, boy? You on fire? You got the right spot, though. Oh yeah, we on, we on it now, boy. We are on it. Yes, sir. We are on it. Where's it all tangled with your line? Hey, he already got in them. He's in that one right there. It's all right. Yeah, it's about the same. Ooh, he see him shaking that head. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, yes, sir. sir. Come on, Rick. Come on. Come on. I see you. I see you. I see you. Come on. He's coming back around. Oh, I got oh, I got one here too, but we doubled up here, Bob. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, we doubled up here. Tell you what, I'm gonna try to grab I'm gonna try to grab yours first. Oh I'll get it. And uh yeah, we doubled up right here, Bob. Yes sir. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> there we go. You do yours and I got it. You got, you got yours? Oh I got a crap. <laughs> Oh yeah, doubling up here, boy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's your ass, boy. You gonna fight now? You almost lost that rod. That... Huh? Woo! Hey, that ain't too shabby, there, boy. Hey, <laughs> you. Two for one. <laughs> Two at a time, baby. That's Two at a time. About. What I'm talking about? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Woo! Yeah, we, we back on them again. That's <laughs> right. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. I'm gonna put you. I got reservations for you, boy. I got reservations. I got my... hmm. Yes, sir. That's how I like to do it. There, kid. That's Two right. Two at a time, there, son. He swallowed the hook on that one. Come on. Here we go. How you doing? <laughs> That's oh, what I'm yeah. by. Get them in there, boy. Yes, sir. If you like this video, please like hit the subscribe right button below. Yes, sir. Hit the post Woo. notification to be alerted when new videos are available. I had an awesome day today with my good friend Kevin here on Lake Watery today catching those stripers. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get out here again real soon and do it again. Till then, catch you later.